Uh, welcome back, people. Welcome back. This is your girl, your sister, Serious Joe. Uh, got a great recipe for you. Um, this is actually just my spin on on a drink called gor Gorilla Milk. Okay. Uh, basically, what it is is nut milk combined with green juice. All right. And all the juice, I'm going to show you each um, ingredient that goes into the juice. I got one bunch of celery, one bunch of cilantro, okay, one bunch of parsley down in here, one cucumber, and a bunch of kalaloo. You could also use kale. Um, and then we have two kneesberries, two cups of almonds, about, um, I don't know how much this is going to make, but this is a mature coconut that I just opened up and chopped up. I'm going to run it through the juice extractor so that um, I could, you know, mix it together with the, the water in this young coconut and make sort of a coconut milk out of it. Um, to blend up and we're going to combine all that together then we have some hemp protein powder that we're going to add to it some sea salt and some cinnamon okay so let's rock and roll um this video is going to take some time to complete but hang in there with me all right all right let's go First, we're going to do these greens. We're going to get those out of the way. So let's bring the juicer that I'm going to use for that front and center. And we're going to be using the juicer and the blender in this recipe. Okay. Here's the juicer. This again is the Omega 8600 8, series. Okay. It's a very, very good juicer for leafy greens. All right. So let me plug this baby in. And let's rock and roll. This takes a lot of patience, so just bear with me. Like I said earlier, cilantro is going to rid the body of toxic metals. Toxic metals a lot of times are consumed when you are um, using aluminum foil when you're eating out of cans. Uh, let's not even go into what is being sprayed in the atmosphere. <clears throat> Hold on a second. I think I turned this on in reverse. There we go. <laughs> All right. So yes, um, the metals that they are spraying into the air you don't know about that do some research but it's called chemtrails so we want to get that out of the body because what toxic metal does after a while is it causes dementia and Alzheimer's disease all right but we don't want that stuff in our bodies so and we don't want those problems so this milk here is actually, as I'm told, as I'm told, is good for both weight loss and weight gain. All right. So that's the science on that. And that's what makes this so good. All right. There's some celery through there. 
The celery helps to really push out the rest of the leafy greens. Let's not forget the color blue. Green. It's green, Mommy. Yes, it's green. Green is good. Yeah, green is good. Green is good, Mommy. That's right. Green is good. It's so vibrant. I love all this green going into my body. You know what I mean? Losing weight doesn't have to be um, such a horrible process. You could actually enjoy it. If you know what you're doing, you will enjoy it. So make sure you wrote down all of what is included in this recipe because it is really, really good. Um, and if you can't find measberry, then you could use apple. I don't know if I said that already, but yeah, you could use apples. Okay, so we want to get these greens in our system. And this is actually something that children will like to drink as well, if you're curious about that. Um, children love, at least my son, he really likes this drink. So, he doesn't know what I'm making yet, but I'm sure he's going to be very pleased once he tastes this, because he's had it before. He's had it twice, Mommy. Oh, yeah? Yes. Okay. Sorry, I should have cut this up already. But I'm just trying to hurry up and get this going. So let's go ahead and empty this. We don't want this all this good juice to spill. Put this right in your face. Again, I have the strainer there so that we don't have any unnecessary annoying pulp. And the good thing about juicing is this allows, because you know, when you try to chew leafy greens, um, sometimes you don't chew enough, and the body is really not getting all that it can get from you eating it. So you're wasting a lot of it, but what juicing allows is for full absor absorption of the greens, of the essential part of the greens, full absorption into your cells. And that's what we're trying to accomplish by eating greens. Um, if you notice, animals like apes and gorillas and monkeys, um, they chew their food for a very long time. And they're eating grass, you know, and, and leaves and things like that. And they're chewing for a very long time because I think instinctively they know the importance of... <clears throat> chewing your food, almost liquefying it in your mouth so that your body gets the full benefit. So they take their time. We want to hurry up and swallow because we're more into taste and pleasure than health. So we got to kind of change that. But what is wonderful about technology is that, you know, we have created a way to still enjoy our greens and get the full absorption of them. You know what I mean? So let me empty this before it overflows. We're almost done with the juicing part. Just gotta, the celery's really watery, so I don't want this to overflow. I have a little bit left to juice, okay? 
Mommy. Not yet, Cha Cha. Look, he's already asking for cheese. It's not finished yet. Okay. I'm not finished yet. Not finished yet. Yeah, I'm not finished yet, Mommy. I'm not finished yet. That's right. Celery is also extremely high in hydration. And also, what I want to say about cilantro and shh, what I want to say about cilantro and parsley and herbs um, is it's a natural deodorant. It's a natural deodorizer. So if you're consuming enough of it, you won't need to apply deodorant after a while. But because we eat a lot of meat and we don't get enough greens in our system, um, we start to smell. And so we need things like deodorant or we're going to be knocking folks out. Um, Mommy, in some countries, that's exactly what they do. They be knocking folks out. Okay, so we're done with the juicing part of this. Okay. We were almost done, Mommy. Yeah, we're all done with that part, Jaja. No. Okay. Oh, wait. No, we're not. I actually need to still run the coconuts through the extractor to break it down. Okay? So let's get those in there really quickly. And hold on. Hold on. Get it down, Mommy. Because get we it actually down. don't want the pulp to go in the same bowl. We want to save the pulp for the coconut. Okay. Let me just make sure I get the greens out of there. Alright, so here comes the pulp for the coconuts. We want to save that. Alright, so let's Get that done. Opening up a mature coconut takes some skill. <laughs> a what? And sometimes even some muscle. Because it's not easy at all. Once I'm done with this pulp, that can be used to make We're cookies. You know what I mean? You don't have to throw that away. So I'm going to save that. But this is so good for the body, this coconut. You should get a lot of coconuts in your system if you can. Right. Yep. Yeah. Alright, so Daddy <laughs> while the rest of that is coming out, hold on. Mommy coconut. I'm gonna pour our green juice what we have so far. Into the pitcher. Yeah. Uh huh. So we're going to pour the green juice into the pitcher. Into the green one. That looks yummy. Yeah, that looks yummy. <laughs> Put that aside. Okay. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna rinse off our strainer. And <clears throat> it's okay if we leave the green juice residue down in there, it's fine, because it's all gonna be combined anyway. So what I'm going to do now is I want to pour these coconut shreds, sorry, 
into... Mommy, you okay? Yeah, Mommy's okay. Okay, Mom. <laughs> My son cares so much. All right. And then... Um, first, I'm going to run this coconut water through there. Okay. Okay, Mommy. I could have actually, I'm doing this sort of backwards. So now <laughs> I'm going to pour this in there. And what I'm going to do now is get in there with my hand and kind of give this a good squeeze because this this is making sort of a milk out Maybe of the coconut. It's fine. Okay, so I use the coconut yes, water. Shh. Hush, fine. hush, hush. I know. Be quiet for a minute. Okay, so I'm making a sort of milk out of the coconut water and the mature coconuts. And we're going to use the blender to blend this in with the almonds, the hemp, the kneesberry, the salt, and the cinnamon. Okay, that's how we're gonna do that. So I got a good squeeze out of this. And we even have some milk in here. Actually, I don't wanna pour that in there yet. I'm gonna. So. It's <clears> going. <throat> Now we're going to strain this. Okay, pour it through the strainer into the bowl. <clears throat> Get it all out of there. Like this. Okay. Mommy. Pour it back in here. I'm making a little bit of a mess. My work area is not as big as my last home, but that's all good because I'd rather have a smaller place to live and be in the tropics than where I was. So, it's all good. All right. So, that pretty much is our no. coconut milk mix. I'm going to set this over here to be used some other time. And now, here is the actual milk that came out of all that. Okay. So, what are we looking at? We're looking at. Um, Looks like yeah, two, I, nope, three cups. Three cups of three that. Cups. All right. All right. I'm give my hands a rinse. So you. All right, we're done with this juicer. Good thing about this juicer is you just take this part off, throw it right in the sink until you're ready to wash. Move this out the way. <clears throat> Set this aside. Oops, I got some pulp in there. Okay, that's still all good. So we're going to strain all of that up again. Hold aside. Just wipe up the excess mess. All right. I can't stand cooking and juicing or doing whatever with a whole lot of mess laying around. Feel me? All right. Now we're getting ready to blend. <clears throat> Joshua, move out the way. Okay, let's get our blender. 
Bugger up. No, I forever. It's an umbrella, Mommy. All right. It's an umbrella. What's an umbrella? All right, people. So we're going to throw our two, two cups of almonds in there. Yeah, two cups of almonds in there. We're going to use the strainer again. We're going to the room again. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah. I'm now, mommy. Yep. I'm now, mommy. I'm now. Give me one second. This is the first time I'm doing this on camera. So, you know, trial and error. I'm going to empty this pulp. <laughs> okay. So instead of trying to pour it in that small hole, I'm going to use this hole and strain it in there one more time. Don't do that. Don't do that. I put it in there. Okay. Okay. I put it in there. And I'm going to pour it back in here because it's easy to pour into the blender from this pitcher. So that's nice and smooth. Hey, I put it in there, Mommy. I put it in there. And we're going to pour. I put it in no, there. No, mommy. Not, don't put that in there. It's ducky. No, it's ducky. Okay. In there. Now, we're gonna cut our cut our knees, Barry. Mm, that's nice and ripe. Get the seeds out of there. Okay. I'm gonna stick this in the blender. That knife's too sharp. Let me get a spoon. Uh, yes. Okay. Get the fruit. Get the fruit out of the kneesberry. And I was uh, struggling to find uh, or to think of what candy this reminds me of. This kneesberry because it's like pure sugar, and you could—it's really grainy when you eat it. So I was like, what does, but it's, it's so delicious. So I was like, what does this remind me of? And I realized yesterday that it reminds me of Skittles. That candy Skittles. When you put a bunch of Skittles in your mouth and you chew it up uh, and you get that all that sugary feeling in your mouth that just gets you high, uh, that's exactly what this tastes like. So. People have found a way to mimic nature. It's no real genius. They're just really mimicking nature, and that's it. So that's what Kneesbury tastes like. So it adds a nice sweetness to this whole deal. And again, you'll have to forgive me. This video is not going as smoothly as some of the other videos you may be used to. Shh, hush. But, um, you know, this is uh, my first time making this on video. So this is the second kneesberry. I knew there was another seed in there. So there we go. All right. Get it all in there. Put skin in there. Oh, the skin's so soft it might not matter, but I'm just trying to avoid it anyway. Okay, so that's the kneesberry. Now, I'm gonna add the hemp powder. I'm 
I'm gonna get about a tablespoon of the hemp powder. Okay, a heaping tablespoon. Okay, so just like that. Throw it in there. There goes some protein. I'm going to give the sea salt a shake. This should really be pink Himalayan salt, but I couldn't find any yesterday. So we're just going to give it a small pinch of some sea salt. Shh. Hush. Sorry if my son is making so much noise that you can't hear me. Um, I've learned how to block out his noise. <laughs> You know, so I almost can't hear him, but I know to you, it must be like, all right, little guy, settle down. All right, cinnamon, just a dash of cinnamon. Okay, that be that. So let's cover this up. Take this through the Nutribullet, RX. All right. will give it a really, really nice, sweet touch. So, almost forgotten. I'm glad I remembered. Okay. So, one. Mommy's, ma Mommy's making some good stuff. Okay, Mommy. All right. Two. Mommy, you okay? Yes, Mommy's good. Okay, Mommy. Three. Okay? Three days. That should be good. And four, mommy. And you could really do that to taste. If you want more, just add more. And five, mommy. <laughs> Now, you could get a nut bag and do it that way, um, which will probably make it so much smoother than just running it through a strainer like this, but I still love it. So as you can see, this is really thick. of it in there. there. 
Okay. I'm not going to take you through the rest of that. I'll add the rest later. It's not much left in there, but you get the gist. Um, so what I want to do now is add this to the green juice. Look at that nice color. Nice, nice color. Yeah, he's okay. Yeah, I made a perfect amount. Wow. Okay, <laughs> And this, my friends, is Gorilla Milk. My style. Okay. I'm going to give this a taste. <clears throat> Let's see. Got quite a mess to clean, but let's taste this. That is so good. And again, shh. yes, if you want to add more dates for sweetness, then you could definitely do that. <clears throat> if you wanted to use a nut milk bag for uh, more smooth a drink <laughs> or more smoothness, smoothness, then you can definitely do that. But this right here is delicious as is, okay? I don't want to put too much sweetness in there because I'm trying to take off weight, but this is perfect for me. So you should try this. It's so nutritious, very healthy, and um, you're going to love it and your kids are going to love it, okay? So that's Gorilla Milk, Serious Joe style. All right, so that's that for this vid. Please like, share, and subscribe. I thank you for sticking with me through this video. Love, light, and wellness to you all.